Alright, time to make our character jump now. So I'm going to open the player BP. Expand it. And I'm going to go into edits. Project settings. Input. And we're going to add the input button for our jump. So I'm going to call this... Whoops, that's sprint input. We shouldn't touch it. We'll create a new one over here. And call it jump input expand it and make sure that I have well for me at least I'm gonna set it to space you guys can use whatever you're comfortable with it could be up arrow W okay so now that that's set up we can use it in our blueprint so we'll create a new section here uh, we'll call it jumping logic for now we might rename it later if we have, you know, more logic than expected, let's say. So, jump input. Let's add our input to the blueprint. And basically, when we press our input, which is space in this case, something's going to happen. And when we release, something may or may not happen, depending on how we want the uh, jump to function. So here's how I'm going to do it. When you press space, he jumps. When you release space a force towards the uh, bottom or the negative z-axis will be applied which would bring the character down faster so the more you hold the higher your jump and if you release your jump is pretty much cancelled uh, so let's do that now when we press we're gonna jump and you notice here when I press jump it says pawn character jump and then there's stop jumping uh, stop jumping uses some functionality that Unreal has to pretty much do what I just talked about, but I like to do it this way, uh, you know, differently from Unreal Engine's core functionality, just because I think it feels better. So, what is this character jump here? Well, if you go to Component, select Character Movement, you can see the character has Jump Z Velocity. So, when I jump, it's going to use this Jump Z Velocity to apply a force upwards. I'm going to change it to 600. So, let's test that out. You can see that our character jumps. It's a little bit low, so I'm going to make it 800, I think. Just tweaking values. 800. Okay. <clears throat> Nope, that's a bit high. So let's make it 600. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, and now you notice when you press space, he jumps all the way to the top of his, uh, to, the, to the maximum height of his jump. But if I release, it doesn't stop. So and so let's try using the stop jump just so we cover everything stop jumping if we release save it doesn't seem to have any effect as you can see because you have to set it up differently it's not that simple uh, so I'm just gonna stick to my way uh, when we release we're going to apply a force downwards so launch and this launch thing launches the character in a direction that we decide. So it's going to be, let's say, negative 200 on the z-axis. So now you notice when I release, it doesn't go all the way. We can make it stronger to uh, make the effect more apparent. So let's say if I make this 400... That might be too strong, but we'll see. Yeah, that's fine, I guess, for demonstration purposes. So you notice now when I release, the force is applied, dropping the character down very fast. And I can still go the whole height. Now, there's one problem with it. You notice that if I'm going up and I start descending, and then I release space, it adds a bit of force. Try that. Jump, and then as you're going down, release space. It feels like he's slamming into the ground which doesn't, doesn't look or feel very good. 
So we're going to fix that. So I'm going to pull this back out. And what we're going to do is we're going to check the player's Z velocity. You know, whether he's going up or down. So if he's going up, so if his Z velocity is over zero, and you release space, this thing is going to work. It's going to apply a, it's going to launch the player down 400 units. If his velocity is negative or zero, then this thing wouldn't apply because he's already going down. We don't need to be launching him down anymore. So what we're going to do is get a branch and we're going to get velocity and pull this back out so we have a bit of space. Break because we only want to deal with the Z value here, nothing more. So we're going to look for greater than or equal to. So if the Z value is greater than or equal to zero, it works. So if it's greater than or equal to zero, you notice the true here launches him down. So let's try that out. All right, works just fine. And now it doesn't launch him down like it did before. You notice that he keeps going down at the same uh, rate of gravity here that we currently have set. Yeah. So now our character jumps, but only as long as we hold the button. Once we release, he starts going down. So you have a bit of control over how high you jump. Okay, so that's it for jumping. Just one thing I forgot to mention about jumping before uh, I conclude this tutorial is you notice that when you're in the air, you don't have a lot of control on your direction. There's an actual, there's actually an air control variable that you can modify to give your player more or less control while he's in the air. So, uh, you know, he can change directions and such. And if you go down here, you can see air control is set to 0 0.05. If I set it to 1, uh, then I'm setting it to 100% control. So you notice that I can jump and move just fine, as if I'm walking on the ground. I like to set it somewhere not at 100%, but something like 70%. I think that feels floaty enough to feel like he's in the air, but it still gives you some control. So I just thought I'd mention that little variable in case you wanted to tweak that. And in case you already noticed that problem, 